Hey folks, in exercise number one, your job is to make a ball bounce in place on a loop. The easiest way to do this is to Google an image of a ball bounce and you trace over it. And while this method is not ideal for improving observation and drawing skills, you will be able to get something reasonable in a short amount of time. Go ahead, give it a try. If you're feeling adventurous, you can develop the timing of your animation on your own by drawing a vertical line to show the path of action and spacing the hash mark locations properly, you can try to illustrate a convincing ball bounce with trial and error. Notice how the hash marks are grouped closer together at the top and spread further apart at the middle. More drawings at the top will slow down the action as if the ball is succumbing to the force of gravity. Fewer drawings and more spacing will give the impression that the ball is picking up speed. The last recommendation, and my favorite, is to figure things out for yourself. Here's me in my classroom recording footage that I'll go back and study later. I have the video clips side by side with Photoshop so I can eyeball the proper height of the ball during any given point in time. Remember, the mechanics of animation is all about timing and spacing. So, as I watch frame by frame, I can click to figure out the timing. The height of the ball can be used as a hash mark on the vertical line. Notice how I keep going back and forth between the video clip on the right and my paper on the left. The big idea is, again, to go figure out how high the ball should be at any given point in time. All right, we're in the home stretch. At this point, the process looks the same as the previous methods. I'm just going to rough sketch the objects with the intent of keeping the same proportion. I'm trying to match their location with the hopes of having reasonable and convincing movement. After methodically watching and tweaking your work, I recommend going in and having a little fun. It might be cool to add a bit of character design and storytelling to your bouncing ball animation. Here's the reveal. <laughs> Well, that's all I've got for exercise number one. Do me a favor, go try some of this stuff out. Thanks for watching.